Yo, so today's question comes from Jitty Jitty Bang Bang 19. He says, yo, Elliot, I'm hooked on dopamine screens and weed and stuff, and I want to break free, but I can't. I want to read more and detach from distractions and discover my purpose, but my attention span is shot and I get bored super quick. Well, that reminds me of a story that my mom just told me the other day, and that was old Uncle E back in the day used to get as bored as it comes. My favorite words to say were, I am bored. My mom reminded me that the other day. She said, you know what your favorite words were when you were young? I'm bored. Mom, I'm bored. And it wasn't until much later after that that I was diagnosed with ADD. And this was before there were screens. And so it wasn't like I was getting hopped up on uh, scrolling social media, playing video games, and all the amazing but detrimental things that proliferate your life today. I just had to be stimulated constantly by either, you know, chasing my brothers and beating them up or playing games in the yard. But as long as I had to sit there and be by myself, I was bored. I was always needing some kind of stimulation, something to entertain me. And that kind of went that way for a long time until the day I discovered weightlifting. I started lifting weights. I met my girlfriend uh, who became my wife and started lifting and playing football when I was in ninth grade. And all of a sudden, the boredom subsided. And so because my mind and day was filled with doing things that made me feel good, uh, lifting weights and playing with my girl, uh, the boredom went away. And I discovered that uh, I like to work hard. I like to keep going. I don't like to sit down. I want to be chasing, grinding, doing, and achieving things. And as long as I have that carrot dangled in front of me, I can chase all day long. I can stay focused. I can work. Uh, and I feel good. M maybe it's an addiction, but I kind of get a high from working all the time. And it was a strange thing because when I was in my 20s, I was grinding day and night. By the time I got to my mid 30s, I had achieved some sort of height. And because things were going well, and I had a lot of people around me that wanted to help me, and as a result, I started giving away the work that I was doing, I found myself bored again. And you know what they say, the devil creates work for idle hands. My hands were idle. I was bored. I was a 35 year old man uh, with not a lot of work to do. I stopped chasing and started smoking. I discovered that by smoking weed, all the boredom went away. What do you know? Turns out that numbing yourself with drugs uh, makes you forget that you're chasing, makes you not realize that you're uncomfortable just being, right? And so for me, it was weed, but I know a lot of you guys, like you say, it's dopamine screens and things of that nature, right? Constantly being tick-tocked in your skull uh, with all kinds of instant entertainment and porn. It was a little different for me. Again, like I said, I didn't grow up with those things, but when I became an adult, I looked for something to numb my boredom once again, and I found weed, I found drugs. And it, I was hooked on it, using it, smoking it every day, and it kept me at bay. It kept the boredom at bay. Uh, but my whole life was slipping away because I wasn't chasing anymore. Kind of crazy, right? And so when I decided that, okay, this is, I'm done. This is it. I need to quit this shit so that I can get on and start building my life again, right? I went through that catabasis, that tunnel, that dark spot in my life, but it was time to move on that it wasn't that easy because I was hooked on being hooked. I was addicted to the numbness, to the feeling of contentment of not doing anything. And I wasn't doing anything. I stopped making YouTube videos. I stopped building my business. I isolated myself from my friends and my workers. Man, it wasn't a good thing, but I was okay. I wasn't bored. I can get high and sit on the floor and feel great for hours at a time. <laughs> so weird, right? But I had to stop. And when I stopped, I discovered something amazing, something that's going to revolutionize your life, something that's going to change your perspective for good. It turns out that boredom is actually a good thing. I realized that when I stopped smoking, that I would get real anxious. And if I was anxious, I felt like I need to do something. But when I was doing things, I was spinning my wheels and not getting anywhere. I was very 
active, but not taking much action. I was uh, digging up the ground, but not bearing any fruit. I was doing a lot, but not getting anywhere. You know what I mean? And I realized very quickly that that was a part of the problem, that I'm looking for a feeling. I'm looking to, to replace being with doing. And that's the secret, dude. You got to embrace the boredom. So in this time frame, when I was going from being a dopamine addict, smoking dope and uh, trying to avoid boredom, I found myself sitting down a lot. And so a lot of people might call that and like looking out the window, sitting down and looking out the window. I think specifically when I was at my old house, there was a spot in my kitchen. I would sit, I would just look. I would just stare out the window. I just sit there and I look out the window. And a lot of people would say, oh, that looks boring. It looks like you're not doing anything. But there was a profound shift happening in my perspective and in my mind while I was just sitting there looking out the window. So much so that some people would call it meditation, but I called it throning, right? Like a king sits on his throne and he allows himself to be. He allows downloads to come, right? He allows God to speak clearly to him because he's not constantly distracted or high. And so the, the message here, the take home message, the key for you to understand is that you gotta be okay being bored. You, right now, you trying to go from being hooked on dopamine to being active, to, to being uh, productive. But there's an in-between phase and it's called embrace the boredom. If you're hooked on dopamine, you've got to purge yourself of that addiction by sitting down and doing nothing. Literally, that's what you must do. Get used to being bored. Embrace the boredom, bro. And only then, after time, you'll start to be spawned on to taking action rather than being steeped in activity. Every time you pick up a book and you can't read, well, like you say, you try to listen to audio books and you lose your concentration. It's because you're not ready yet. You're not primed yet. You didn't till the soil by sitting. So give yourself, you know, I like to tell guys who are coming off of vices that you got to give yourself the same amount of time in months that were years that you were hooked on your thing. So if you're smoking weed for five years, you need five months before you can even think about being normal again. And so I don't know what it is for you. You guys grew up with screens in your hands, but you're going to need to go at least, I'd say no less than 90 days, closer to six months of just being okay, being okay. Just sitting there and doing nothing with your day, except for the things that you need to do to get along. But don't be ambitious. Don't try to, don't try to go from a uh, drug addict to, uh, to cartel leader <laughs> in a week. You need it. You need an in-between period. You need a catabasis. You need a moment of detox and and uh, and reset. And that's what you're going to get when you once again embrace the boredom, dude. Done. Porn. 68 percent of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Are you ready to fight back? You're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off. Realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? Are you ready to go to war against vice and take back your life? And here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.